Hi everyone, welcome to video 5. So today I'm going to talk about the importance of having a hobby. Now this is a word that about 5 years ago I used to really hate, I used to really despise, I used to really hate people asking me what are your hobbies because I didn't feel like I had any. You know, the, when, when you say hobbies, the traditional things that come to mind are things like playing some kind of sport or playing some kind of instrument or dancing, etc. And I, I didn't have any of those. I don't like team sports. I feel like I'm not good at them. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm creatively challenged. I'm not good at playing any kind of instrument or singing or dancing or anything like that. Just doing those things will actually stress me out more than calm me down, which is what a hobby is supposed to do, right? And so especially um, after I got sick and I had a lot of time on my hands, I was told by doctors, by friends, by everyone, what's your hobby? You have so much time on your hands now go and do your hobby and instead of calming me down that stressed me out even more because I couldn't I couldn't find a hobby so actually um, I looked online I, I searched in Google hobbies potential hobbies and a whole list of things come up like you know the usual cooking exercise and there were some unusual ones like um, I don't know like bushwalking and stamp collecting and I was like Mm, no, I don't know. I don't think so. It all sounds too hard. And I was so stressed about trying to find a hobby. One, to um, get all the great benefits of having a hobby that everyone was talking about. You have a hobby and it's so fun. You have something to do in your spare time. I'm like, yeah, I want that. Um, and also just to have a hobby. Um, and then one day I was reading this book. Um, I can't remember what the book was called, but basically it was, it was just a random book. Every page had something different, like a different, um, activity to do or a different thing to think about. I think it was kind of like a mindset book. And one of the pages was called Flower Gaze. I still remember this. I, I think I read it about five years ago, but I remember very clearly it was one page in the book. The title was called Flower Gaze. And basically, it was talking about the beauty of flowers. Each and every flower is different and unique. And I thought, hmm, maybe flowers can be my hobby. Maybe I can start looking into flowers and, and start buying flowers for my room, for my place. And so I started doing that. And now I love flowers. Like, I, I just think they're so beautiful. I get, a, I, um, I limit myself to getting a flower on the weekends, once a week. Otherwise, I'll just go crazy. I'll be the um, crazy flower lady with flowers all over my room, all over my balcony, all over my place. Um, so every every Saturday or Sunday is my flower day. And I actually really look forward to it. Um, I look forward to my flower day. I look forward to going to the florist and having a look around and seeing, oh, what flower am I gonna get for my room or for my balcony? or just for the general living area. What am I gonna get this week? Um, and I, I also get really excited when I'm going somewhere new on the weekend, um, so I can go to a different florist because different florists have different flowers and then I can get a different one. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it sounds so simple and basic, but it is actually something I look forward to every week. I look forward to the weekends because it's my flower day so I can buy a new flower. Um, and I can't remember which friend it was, but for one of my birthdays, this friend of mine, um, they knew how much I was into flowers. So they bought me a voucher to a three hour beginners floristry class. That was amazing. I loved it. Basically, they taught you how to, um, put a bouquet together um, and they taught you how to cut the stems of the flower. So basically, you shouldn't cut the flower stem like this. You should cut it at an angle because if you cut it at an angle like this, it allows more water to um, go through the stem and therefore um, help the flower live for longer. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, um, it was really good. 
Um, so thank you, friend. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, I guess I just wanted to share the importance of having a hobby. And most people do have one, like I said, it's usually sports or, or playing in a musical instrument, which is fantastic. Um, but if you don't have one, um, it is worth the t investing the time to find something that you enjoy because it's your thing. You can go back to it. So now every, I love springtime now because springtime means open gardens. I love going to the open gardens. I love going to see the tulips in Canberra. Oh my god, I just I just love it. It's my it's my favorite thing. I have so I can't have a I can't have a bad day if I'm going to see an open garden. <laughs> um, and it's really funny because it is it's complete opposite to what I used to, what my mindset used to be like about flowers. I used to think flowers, oh, who cares about flowers? They just die anyway. It's a waste of money. They're just a flower. And it's funny how I've completely done a one eighty on that. All because I read this one page in this book about flower gaze. Um, so yeah. Find a hobby if you don't already have one or if you already have one, tap into it. Whenever you're feeling down or upset, go and do that hobby. If it's a sport, go and play it or if you can't play it because it's in the middle of the night, maybe you can watch it on YouTube or something like soccer maybe. Um, and it also, um, like for example, again, soccer. It also helps you make like-minded friends because if you like soccer, you're probably in a soccer team and so you have soccer friends. Or if you're not in a soccer team, maybe you go and watch soccer at the club, at the local club, and you always see the same people watching soccer at the local club and you make friends that way. So yeah, a hobby is a great thing. It's a good pastime and it's a great way to make like-minded friends. And it will just uplift yourself. It will put you in a good mood. Um, so yeah. I think most people have hobbies. I don't know if that's true or just like a thought that I have. But if you don't already have one, go and find one. It's worth the investment of time to find one. Um, so yeah, mine is flower gaze. Mine is flowers. I'm the crazy flower lady. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope um, this has been helpful somewhat. Um, until tomorrow and I'll share something, share something else that I've... I've learnt um, over the past few years about mindset and um, trying to move forward um, and be in a positive state of mind because that's so important. Okay, thanks guys. See you tomorrow.